In this video we're going to look at subscribing to topics using the Python uh, MQTT client and this is the subscribe process. The client um, subscribes to the, the topic um, by supplying a topic name and a quality of service on the subscription and the broker responds with a subscription acknowledge and the subscription acknowledge triggers a callback on the Python client and we use that we can use that callback or the information in that callback to identify the the topic subscription and we'll look at that uh, in, in a second in the um, python mqtt client it's a subscribe function that does takes care of the subscribing and we supply it with the a topic name and a quality of service and it will return uh, a tuple or, or tuple whatever you want to call it uh, that contains a result code and the mid value the mid value is the packet id um, the result code is either a, a success which is a zero or it's a failure which is non-zero uh, if it succeeds it will also return a mid value of one or more uh, if it fails it will return a value of none so a failure is indicated by a uh, sorry a one or more in this field here and a none in this field here a success is indicated by a zero in this field here and a value of one or more in this field here and it says here the mid value can use to track the subscribe request uh, against the mid argument in the unsubscribe callback if defined now the unsubscribe callback isn't mandatory um, but it is a good idea to check the subscription and to do that you need to process the unsubscribe callback now if the subscribe fails um, with an exception it, it generates a value error and it will do that in certain circumstances like you've supplied uh, an invalid quality of service in other words not zero one or two or an invalid topic name so in the python script we'll take care of that by enclosing the subscribe in a try uh, accept loop now there are three methods for the subscribe function or three methods we can use for the subscribe function one is for an individual topic and it shows you that here topic name and the quality of service the other is very similar again individual topic but this time we enclose it in brackets for, because it's a tuple or a tuple I'm not sure which way you pronounce it and again it's a topic name plus a quality of service and the third one is useful for multiple topics in this case we use a list and it's a list of tuples or tuples again whichever way you want to pronounce it let's just break from the PowerPoint presentation and I'm just going to run through a simple script that shows you the the subscribe process okay so here's the script I'm going to use and we're going to subscribe to a couple of topics and the topics here are held in a list there and I'm not going to subscribe using the list format I'm going to subscribe to individual topics so I'm going to extract them from that list further on first thing we do is connect to the broker uh, once we've started the connection we start a loop and the purpose of the loop is to catch the callbacks once we're connected the connection flag gets set to true and then we fall through here and we go on to the subscribe so we start the subscription and here we loop through the topics to subscribe and now we're going to use a try block because remember what I said about the value error being returned and we'll look at the value error later on with another script and we subscribe to the topics individually and if we have a problem we, we quit the script once we've subscribed to the topics we wait for the subscriptions to be acknowledged so we sit in a loop and wait for the subscriptions to be acknowledged acknowledged once that's they've all been acknowledged we print a test message to one of the topics and then we should see that test message being displayed to show that it's actually worked so let's run the script okay so there's a script we've run it connected to the broker we waited for the connection acknowledgement we got the connection 
we subscribed uh, there's the first one there's the second one we waited for the subscriptions and just back up a bit and let's look at the values here we returned a zero and a one the zero is a success flag or success code should I say the one is the packet ID and there we got one and there we got two so the second subscription packet ID of two okay then we come down here and we're getting our subs uh, their acknowledgements and there's the first one result code of one which matches this one and the second one result code of two which matches this one so we've matched both packets and there we publish and we're publishing to this topic here and we see the message received further down okay so a successful publish and the thing to note is the when we subscribe that we get a success or a failure code here success is a zero and we get the packet ID or the mid what they call it and it's a value of one and above and we're going to use we you can use this to track the subscriptions whether they were successful or not and that one is matching that one and that one is matching that one now we're going to look at a, a failed connection and I'm going to make it fail by giving it an invalid quality of service code so quality of service of 4 and that should fail so let's run the script and you can see there it's failed error on subscribe invalid quality of service Okay, let's restore that back to zero and this time I'm going to fail by not connecting so now I've just um, commented out the connection process so we're going to go through straight to subscribe without connecting we have got valid quality of service though so let's run the script again okay there we've got a failure and this is what I wanted to show you there we've got the error code of 4 and there we've got the mid or the packet ID set to none uh, which is what we saw when we were looking at the slide a failure is a, a result code of uh, 1 or above and a mid value set to none okay uh, that's two examples of um, subscriber failure and it's important that when you write the script that you can actually deal with those those failure conditions when we were looking at the um, subscribe method we, we said that we could subscribe to individual topics or we could uh, subscribe to a group of topics using a list so now I've modified the script and we're going to subscribe to those both both those topics in one go and so instead of looping through those clients uh, those topics rather I'm subscribing to both of those topics with one subscription and you can see I've modified the code and you can see here's the single subscription I'm not looping through the individual topics now I'm, I'm subscribing to all of the topics in one go and this topics is already in the form of a list of tuples or tuples there it is there okay so let's run the script and see what we what we get now you can see it subscribes it subscribes to all of them in one go and we get a good result zero and we get the mid value or the uh, message ID there is one and we get a sub, sub acknowledge and we get a message ID of one now notice the important bit here is we've only got one sub acknowledge the broker acknowledges the subscription for both of those topics with one sub acknowledge so we don't see two like we did before when we subscribe to individual topics we only see a single sub acknowledge 
okay so that's uh, to subscribe to multiple topics and and check the uh, subscription okay uh, so let's return to uh, PowerPoint slides and we'll look at the unsubscribe callback uh, which is a very important part of the subscription process so here's what the documentation has to say about the unsubscribe callback um, this is the function here clients user data the user data is not normally used and this is the mid value we've been looking at earlier on and we're comparing this to the one that we you, we get when we subscribe and we also get a granted quality of service value now usually this is the same as the quality of service we requested so if we request a, a quality of service of zero we get a zero back if we press one we get a one back and we request a two we should get a two back uh, we haven't looked at process in this but you can you can process this and to check that the quality of service that you get you actually being granted on the broker is the quality of service that you actually requested when you did the subscribe and further down we've got the on unsubscribe callback we didn't actually mention the unsubscribe function but it's pretty obvious what it does it unsubscribes from a topic so if for some reason you need to unsubscribe from a topic you may not want to unsubscribe from all topics but uh, uh, individual topics you can do that and when you when you actually call the unsubscribe function it generates again an on unsubscribe callback and you can check then that using the mid values again which is here you can check that your the unsubscribe has actually succeeded okay that brings us to the end of this video um, if you have any comments on the video then use the YouTube comments form or you can use the comments form on the blog if you like the video then use the like um, button on the YouTube video and like the video and if you want to see more videos then consider uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel until next time bye